What you laughing about? I look down into my helmet. My mouth is all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys caught a little bit of pre pre content there. Welcome <laughs> back to the congregation. He's got. Uh, we got her a new helmet last night. It's the same helmet that she had, except one that fit. Look at her little chipmunk cheeks. Of course, she says that uh, mine are chipmunk cheeks because mine actually fits right. You know, she told me uh, a while back when she first started riding that her helmet that I had for her, a showy RF 1400, was uh, a little too big for her. And we talked about it. And uh, I, maybe it's my fault, but I, I, it's, I didn't take it as, hey, this is really big for me. I just kind of took it as I you know, and I asked her, she's like, oh, it's, it's fine. I'll just tighten it. And uh, that was a large, a uh, showy, show, showy, showy run large. And uh, that was a hand me, I don't even want to say hand me down, hand me over. My good friend Taz gave that to me. And uh, it was way too small for my head. It fit her, I thought. And uh, finally, last week, she said, uh, she said, hey, can we, can we seriously look for me a helmet? So I wanted to look at the Arai the Orai array of helmets and I wanted to look at uh, more showies because they're they're good helmets showies great helmet we go uh, over to cycle gear last night she tried some on so she was wearing a large this was an extra small <laughs> so she was she was wearing a helmet that was three what? times too big like three size three times it'd be a look like dark helmet from uh, space balls but Keep firing, assholes! Three sizes too big for her. If I, man, if I had any clue, really, that it was that much of a difference, I would have put a little bit more urgency in, uh, into getting that taken care of for her, man. And uh, now today, you know, she's got there's some adjustments that she has to make. One, it's way smaller, so she's got chipmunk cheese going on. I know that's going to impact how she sounds when she talks. Fine. <laughs> Two, uh, she does like to wear glasses in the helmet. She doesn't really know or has really indicated that she wants something like a, a visor like I have inside. This one being a lot tighter, you know, fitting the right way, uh, putting her glasses on was kind of a chore. And then two, the other RF 1400, I don't know if it came stock or if Taz had it put in or whatever, it had the quick release in it. This one doesn't have that. And uh, so she's not used to that buckle thing. I mean, I... If you've been riding a while and worn helmets for a while, you could probably whip those on real quick, but uh, not, not her. She'll get used to it. It'll be fine. Or we can figure out how to get one of those installed or something. I don't know how to do that. But the big complaint was, you know, when we go out riding and we hit up some of these roads and there's no traffic, there there may there may allegedly be some times where we exceed the posted speed limit by a small margin. Allegedly, and in those times, I guess uh, I guess you know that the helmet pushes up and rides on top of her head and acts like a parachute for her neck. So not only do we do our thing, we come back around to D land and end up at our spot OBs, like kind of kind of the nightcap, top off the ride, if you will. Uh, we're gonna start there this time because we're both super hungry, and uh, I'm I'm wasting away to nothing over here. Your old uncle. You guys aren't ready for a skinny on the bogator. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, we're going to start at OB's, get a little loose. Have some food. She wants wings. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we're up there. See, this is perfect. Not only because she's here, uh -huh, but also because the weather is fucking gorgeous out. There are motorcycle people out. Uh, we're going to go over and look at that track here in a minute and talk about it. But for now, uh, we are ready to order. So I'm just sitting here minding my own business. And she says... Not if, but when, because the day's gonna come where you're gonna have to have a trike. What was the rest of it? And it has to be badass. Yeah, uh, you can't. You can't just have a regular old trike. It has to be a badass trike. Right, because if you've had to make that leap for one reason or another, I totally agree. I'm gonna show you exactly the kind of stuff I'm talking about right now. Uh, there are exactly two trikes in this parking lot. This one, my friends, look at this steampunk variety trike. I love this thing. You guys know how I feel about trikes. Put the Springer front end, open rear wheels. Look at all the attention to detail. I love this thing so much. And then my man, we hear this thing coming out of here sounding like a 
NASCAR. Look at this guy. I don't know if these have transmissions in them or not, but this thing sounds mean as hell. So yeah, yeah, if I'm gonna get a trike, it's gonna be something like that. Some other motorcycles of note here. There's a bike over here, shovel head. I don't know what that is. Somebody tell me, it could be a lowrider. I don't think it's an FXR. I think that's pre-FXR days. But if you don't have wolves howling at the moon on that bike, you ain't doing it right. One other bike of note, this Kawasaki KZ900. Look at this thing. This thing is an absolute ripper. I've, I've never ridden one. I've always wanted to ride one. I wouldn't dare go over there and ask, hey, whose bike is this? So I could go mess with it. But I sure wouldn't be offended if you offered, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the most important bike of all, saving the best for last. Best for last. Huh? Swamp King, baby. Hell yeah. A lot of people come to these uh, biker bars for wings, cold beers. I'm gonna tell you what though, man, this, uh, now that I've discovered the steak quesadilla, the, like the weird Mexican stepbrother of the pizza, I'm gonna tell you what, it went from being like an accessory to a focal plate. This thing, rocking. I love their wings, probably the best wings I've had in the state of Florida, honestly. Oh, man, that thing fucking rock solid. All right, this is a gift to you guys, okay? So I'm not scanning this thing. I'm not scanning this. But if you want to scan for boobies, there it is. <laughs> I know, see, I'm an old She's definitely an old When we moved here, we brought the average age of the land down significantly, okay? There's not a chance that I'm scanning a scan for boobies. The sticker. <laughs> You know land. you will later. <laughs> That's why I got it on. You guys are scanning, pause it and scan it. We do a little pause and toss action, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not doing it. <laughs> you know, we're sitting here. She's got her helmet over there on the uh, handlebar. Look at the size. Look how small. I would imagine when she puts that helmet on, it feels like giving birth. Like going right through the fucking birth canal, head birth. How's that soft spot in your head? It's great. Nice. I feel like I'm squeezing a pimple when I put my head in there. Hell yeah. See, when you're around, baby, I don't have any soft spots. Only hard spots for me. All right, one of these times we're going to have to uh, get her. We're going to have to film her putting that helmet on because uh, <laughs> what an absolute struggle. See, she used to kind of have this sly little smile. You know, she'd throw her helmet on real quick, and I'm still getting my shit on and everything. Well, she can't do that no more. Feels a little different now, don't it? What are you talking shit about? <laughs> How you've always been like, oh, look how fast I got my shit on. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Not this How I can't even squeeze my head in there. It'll be fine. It'll break in. All right, enough of OBs for now. For now, I don't think we'll be back here today. There's no reason to come back here twice. Uh, I don't know where this road goes up here. I'm tempted to take it to see if it connects with 11. Wait, it is 11. Uh, we're going to take this road. Okay. Yeah, we're heading out of the land. We're going to head back up to Bunnell, which is where we've been a couple of times. Normally, I say normally, it's only been twice. I don't think it's enough to set a precedent. Normally, when we go up to Bunnell, we turn back down some, I don't know what highway it is, to go back down to Ormond Beach, to the Harley shop. This time, we're going to head over Highway 100, which looks like a really small highway on the map. I mean, they all look small if you just scroll out of it, right? But uh, we're going to hit up Flagler Beach. We're going to hit, uh, hit A1A, ride up the coast a little bit, back down the coast. One of my favorite rides in the state of Florida. I mean, if you can have a favorite ride. Remember what I said on the video before. Florida sucks. Don't move here. It fucking blows. So well, at least I can find some peace in my dumb old heart by riding next to the goddamn ocean. Baby, have you ever ridden down A1A? I have not. You looking forward to it? I am. Yeah, look at that. It'll be fun. I mean, I've driven it, but never ridden it. So. The scenery doesn't change much. It's just, you know how it is, man. You feel it. Yeah. You're in the environment instead of, I don't know. It's hard to explain. You guys ride, you get it. You guys get it. So tell me about your, uh, your new helmet. How does it fit, feel? <laughs> does it move around? It's a pain in the ass to put on and take off but it feels a lot better once it's on and we're moving. Like it doesn't float around my head like the other one did. Yeah. We stopped at a red light back there earlier and she told me, she goes, yeah, normally when we stop at the red light, I use that time to adjust the helmet. I don't have to because this motherfucker ain't going nowhere. 
you guys talk about how you like the banter between the two. We've had some of the best banter on this little stretch of road that I didn't record any of it. I almost didn't bring cameras today. Um, I don't always record, and today, the last time we went out, I recorded, and it didn't feel like it, and that's, that stuff will probably never make it to video. And today, I, I was like, uh, I just kind of want to ride with my wife, and we're doing that. I'm like, fuck it, we'll bring the cameras, but it turned off for a while, and yeah, it's a great, great conversation. I'm not going to tell you what was said, so this whole little piece right here will make adds nothing of value in the video, which I'm good at. There's one thing I can do on a video, is give you nothing of value. Uh, my mouth is very dry, so we're gonna turn here to check out some of the views. I am gonna stop somewhere and get some, uh, some water. Water, I'm sure you're gonna drink water. Listen, okay. <laughs> the beers that we drink are about 95% water, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I'm drinking water. And it's not my fault they also put alcohol in there. <laughs> they put it in there. Like, oh, yeah, they put it. Like, oh, look at all this water. Let's fuck it up with this booze. Yeah, look at that. Ah, what's well, a busy... It ain't your turn, old man. Yeah, look how busy it is here at the Flagler. But can you, I, you can see why. No, you can. It's hideous. Oh, no, no, you're right. You can see why it's busy. People, it's like, uh, people will click on negative videos. Don't come down here to see the most awful sights in the world. This f sucks, man. I spend my time waving to you, f trying to ride and enjoy the view. <laughs> God, the motorcycle wave is so dumb, man. I mean, I don't. I wave at people, so I'm dumb. But it's like it's so intentional. I wish I could film this. Right? <clears throat> like stiff arm, throw those two fingers down. Oh my God. What? It ain't that serious. They do you don't this. have to wave. Just like in the Jeep. You don't have to wave. No, but I do. But I, it, the thing is, is like, it's morphed. The, the, the wave has morphed into that. It's so stiff arm. And and they and people try to assign these mean, oh, we put two fingers down, two wheels, two. No, no. It doesn't. It, it, it's just waving at people. Like, I, when I wave at somebody, I'm either going to do fucking this for like this right <laughs> they thought okay. I was yeah they did they're, they're all looking yeah. at you hard like they're, what the fuck's wrong with this guy they're not looking at me hard <laughs> how do they know how do they know <laughs> anyway but it's just a it's a uh, yeah, I know the camera's not capturing all of it it's just a wave it doesn't have to be this like rigid I gotta put two fingers down Jenny no just Put your wave, just wave it. So hey, you're on a motorcycle. Me too. Uh, that's a rant. That's my rant for this video. I just, I can appreciate the motorcycle wave. I do it. And you know what? Some, some Cheeto finger limp dick Larry is gonna get on the fucking thing and comment below. Well, you don't have to. If you don't want to wave at something, that's not what I'm saying. I I do wave at people. I like waving at people. I just I don't like how it's become like it's two fingers down, brother, for two wheels down, brother. That's rigid. Bridge, it looks like I just stuck my fingers in your grandma's. T no, it's just wave. <laughs> Jesus. That's how I feel about it, though. Well, anyway, look at this nice scenery. Nothing, nothing makes you want to go off onto a fucking tangent rant and look at this beautiful ocean crashing up against the shore. Oh, it's ugly. Right, like my attitude. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I see. I like that guy. I was waiting. He looked like he was trying to hand me a beer. Oh, he was waiting on for him to hand him one. I just, I just do like the peace sign almost. Yeah, no, I, and me too. Or sometimes I don't even take my hand down. It's just like I'll, I'll like throw it up. Yeah, if you can't I see that. that, then that's your fault. I'm, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not doing all the. <laughs> you guys definitely can't see that, but yeah, man, my favorite, one of my favorite rides in the whole state right here. You guys know I pass cars a lot. It's not so I can speed, but I do like going faster than a lot of people like to go. But, you know, for some reason when you're here, it's, I, I don't feel the need. I don't I don't have to. I don't want to. You know what I mean? Uh-oh, Jeep crew. There's your jerk-off Jeep Jerry's right there. <laughs> hey, if you're, not, if you're not from Florida, skip ahead or turn off the video, but yeah, man, this stuff is so beautiful. And now here's the spot where we kind of get off in the water. Now, would you be too cold if no, well, we stopped if we went back to one of those spots and had a beer? 
Listen, I have a flannel, so I can put that bitch on. Sure, that's right. That's right. Put that bitch I on. I this time, but I did bring my flannel. Put that bitch on. Put that bitch on. <laughs> Fucking bad, badass biker. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm just being a right now. Uh, right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, Go with that. All right, so we we um we found this spot, Breakaways. God, look at this. I know you guys saw all we were riding, but come on, man. Seriously, it doesn't get much prettier than that. And it does feel not quite as cold, not moving, right? No, it feels nice. She had some funny things to say when I wasn't recording. That's just like her. Like, you try to... Lying. No, it was pretty funny. I can't repeat it. You guys had to be there in a moment. <laughs> Let's grab a beer. Drop a gear and grab a beer. So she has a knack for finding the most delicious sours, ciders. She has some caramel apple cider. Now, if I was with my boys out here, I'd definitely make fun of them and call them names that you can't say on the internet for fear of being canceled. I'm not afraid of being canceled, but whatever. Uh, but I get a pass because my wife orders it. I can just taste it, see it, taste it. Fucking good is what it is. This place is, uh, so it's very bougie and we don't belong here definitely don't belong here. but i didn't do it but they're playing skinner on jukebox whatever that well if they got a touch tunes here it's on i'm gonna take that shit over and make everybody want to leave <laughs> that's the goal <laughs> that's the goal we're taking over so there's another little group of uh motorcyclists over there i think collectively we're uh we just lowered the property values in all flagler county i think she's always going to try to make sure are you making fun of me no I was making my, sure my shit was on. My flapping. <laughs> Fucking re <laughs> What? I think she's going to make sure that she beats me to her bike every time. I want to film her putting on her damn vagina hat and she won't <laughs> them. Vagina. It looks like you're trying to shove your head up somebody's cooter. I'll tell you that right now. It's not happening. I, that's what I'm trying to film, guys. But it's uh... <laughs> If that ever happened, you guys would never see it. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, I can tell you it happened. <laughs> right? Yeah, this place is not our... Uh, I mean, she liked that beer a lot, and uh, I think we're going to find her some outside of here. The people were just way too bougie, and that girl was staring at you. Not like she wants to eat your ass or anything, but like she's jealous that you have... The confidence, you know what I'm saying? I'll squirt through here. Looks like I did your mom. <laughs> what? Come on, man. You can't ask what. It's not funny the second time around. Probably wasn't funny the first time around, but it... I heard what you said. I heard what you said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fucking oh Jethro. My... Let's go, Jethro. God, uh... <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god. Oh, and a battle between the Subaru owner of uh, the Tesla. Okay, well, the Tesla wins. The Subaru person's gonna. I, that's not a real Subaru owner. I drive a Subaru because I'm gay. I, I don't see a golden retriever anywhere. Yeah, look at all the bikes at this spot. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Like. <laughs> <laughs> look at my dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what we're gonna do we're not going too far i'm not gonna record like every single time we get on and off bike uh, we are going to this place called loggerheads which uh, not too far you guys don't want to see traffic it'll be over soon that's what i tell all the bitches just, <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry so much <laughs> <laughs> what would you say said he ain't wrong anyway we're gonna get up here and uh hopefully it ain't too busy i mean i expect it to be a little bit busy the weather's decent for you northerners this would be like summer i think but uh, the weather's decent for florida there's another place tortugas that place looks pretty fucking rad too anyway i the devil let you know right loggerheads see you up there All right, y'all, that's going to wrap this video up. Man, we had such a great time. The problem with these kind of videos is, like, there's no point to them, really. So if you made it this far, hats off to you, I guess. 
Uh, so it's hard to get, like, generate some interest in something like this because we're just kind of riding around, dicking off, whatever. But I had a great time. I hope you had a great time with us. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you coming along for this video. Hey, I got, um, I got three of these left. Two or three of these left. Get them. I only had eight to begin with, I think, nine to begin with. Got three of them left. They're on the Uncle Bull Gator store right down below the video. And, uh, yeah, until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you.